Today, we're talking shortcuts because why not? Who wants to take the long way anywhere unless you're avoiding that awkward family gathering? But let's be real. Most of the time, you want to get things done quickly. You have diagrams to create and you have things to communicate and you don't have all day to do it. And I feel you. And that's why I'm sharing with you my personal top five time saving shortcuts in Drawio. These are the shortcuts I use to save time with building diagrams. And I'm convinced that they'll do the same for you. I'm Eric. Let's get started. I want this to be super valuable for you. So I'm going to leave out common shortcuts that you can see in any software like paste in plain text, even though some of those things may save you time, I'm going to be focusing on draw your specific shortcuts. Select vertices and edges. All right, so the first shortcut I'm going to start with provides an easy way for you to select all vertices and edges when building your diagram. Use Control Shift I to select all vertices and Control Shift E to select all edges. And this is going to be particularly useful when you're working with complex diagrams because it allows you to adjust specific parts without affecting the whole diagram. So when I need to edit vertices, like when I'm adjusting the portion of a specific node to make the diagram clearer, I just use Control Shift I because it allows me to move those vertices precisely without altering the entire diagram's layout. And if I want to change the type of lines or thicken the borders to highlight certain connections, I just use Control Shift E because it lets me select those edges directly and make the necessary adjustments. Duplicate and align shapes. All right, so this next shortcut is an easy way to duplicate and align shapes. On a Mac, using Shift Option Arrow allows me to create duplicates of any shapes in the direction of the arrow I pressed. If you're on a PC, the equivalent would be Shift Alt Arrow. I use this a lot when I'm creating things like org charts and I need multiple boxes quickly. In that case, I just select the shape and then I just press shift option arrow down or whatever direction to create the new shape in the direction I want. And boom, this new shape is perfectly aligned and connected, saving me time from manually aligning each one. If I need to add a new shape to the right, I just use shift option arrow right, which instantly creates a new aligned shape in that direction. This shortcut is super helpful and actually strangely satisfying. I mean, it's a quick way to build out diagrams with similar shapes. Plus, it allows me to maintain a clean and organized structure without consistently repositioning and aligning each shape manually. When I'm working on any diagrams with repetitive elements, doesn't matter if it's flow charts or organizational charts, this shortcut helps me stay efficient and focused on the big picture. I love it. Toggle outline. Third, we have the control shift O shortcut. This is incredibly useful for getting a high level overview of your diagram's structure, especially when you're working with complex diagrams. It helps me by giving me a bird's eye view of my diagram and allow me to scroll around inside the outline dialog to preview and head over to certain sections of my diagram. For example, when I'm working in a network diagram with many interconnected elements by toggling the outline view, I can quickly see the overall structure. This makes it easier for me to spot any organization issues and gaps. Next is auto size shape to fit text. All right, now let's talk about a feature that's going to save you a ton of time when it comes to dealing with text. When I select a shape and I hit the appropriate shortcut, the shape resizes to fit the text inside. This is incredibly useful when I'm pasting plain text and the text is too large to fit the shape. By pressing Command Shift Y, the shape instantly resizes to accommodate the text, saving me the time and hassle of manually adjusting the shape size to match the text. And believe me, that's what I used to do before I found out the shortcut. It's a small action that brings a big convenience. It's a quick way to make sure that my diagram looks professional and is easy to understand. Arrow keys for precise movements. All right, finally, let's talk about a simple yet incredibly useful shortcut, and that is using the arrow keys for precise movements. When I need to make small adjustments to the positioning of shapes, I just use the arrow keys to nudge them in whatever the desired direction is. To move the shapes on a point by point basis, I hold down shift while pressing the arrow keys. See, this helps me ensure that everything is neat and aligned and perfectly placed, ensuring that the shapes are exactly where I want them to be. All right, so that wraps it up. These are my personal five favorite time-saving shortcuts in Drawio. Try to save that 
10 times fast. Personal vibes, save yourself, show, 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 show. These shortcuts have significantly streamlined my workflow, and I hope that they will do the same for you. If you haven't already, you can try Dryo for free. You can get a 30 day free trial just by heading over to the Atlassian Marketplace. And I want to hear from you. Do you have shortcuts that you use or that you find super helpful? Let us know in the comment section below. We can share them with the rest of the community and we can all become Draw Your Masters together. All right, thanks for watching and stay connected.